Do y'all know about Dr. Umar Johnson? Umar has some of the craziest takes in America. I love a good conspiracy theory. Do not get me wrong. Being a billionaire don't sound fun at all. Diddy was in the Illuminati. He's getting kicked out of the Illuminati? This sh don't add up. Even if they let you sit at their table, you're not going to be able to cook in their kitchen. The thoughts, views, and opinions expressed by Fat Liver Jones in this podcast do not necessarily reflect reality or facts. If you're seeking factual information, we strongly encourage you to do your own research. Much of what is said here is meant to be satirical and humorous. Enjoy the ride, but take everything with a grain of salt. You feel me? Back at it. You know what time it is. Rants with Ant, damn it. Still here ranting about stuff that y'all probably don't care about. Or maybe y'all do care. I don't know. Check this out. We are about to rant about Dr. Umar Johnson. Do y'all know about Dr. Umar Johnson? If you don't know about Dr. Umar Johnson, you are probably lost and should be probably charged with some sort of hate crime. Dr. Umar Johnson is the blackest man in America. He wears it on his sleeve. Pan-African shit. 24-7, 365. Shout out to him because that sounds like a lot of work. And I ain't got all that time or energy to be invested in the shit that he be invested in but umar has some of the craziest takes in america it might be in the world i respect it dr umar johnson did not share the same take i think that once diddy tried to sue them people and them people basically kicked open the door of skeletons charges and nastiness that's been falling out shit's been kind of crazy i haven't spoke on the puff situation because if he did that shit he got to pay for it. if he didn't do that shit and he's being set up that's kind of fucked up but it's just not looking good for him right now man i don't want to like kick a man when he's down because i don't think that that's right but that's another conversation for another day anyway we both think that the man is after him my take isn't as like in depth as umar's is which is why we're going to break apart umar's take of why diddy is having the downfall so let's get into it and diddy had an agreement with them where they would help him market his daily own tequila brand and mm. diddy took issue that with diego because they had described mm. the De Leon tequila liquor, Huffy's brand, they described it to their customer base as if it was an inner city, urban, quote unquote, ghetto, hip hop type of liquor. See, that part I didn't know. The way that I understood the lawsuit was that they were basically not putting him in the same placement as all of the other shit. And basically, like, Casamigos was on the run, and he was like, yo, I can compete with Casamigos. And I've tried De Leon before. Sorry, Puff. It wasn't nothing to write home about. And I like tequila. I don't know. I could be fucking brainwashed, too. And Puffy took issue with that because he said, I'm a global icon. I'm a hip-hop mogul. Don't limit my product just to black people. And by doing that, you're dissuading white people and non-blacks from buying my liquor. You're cutting my sales low. I don't know, because now I'm, I'm like questioning it. Like, right, Hennessy doesn't really like urban community indulges in it the way that they do. And if you're still drinking Hennessy, I need you to grow up immediately. That shit's not good. Anyway, I don't really understand it because I think that people are just going to gravitate towards what they like. And if the shit is good, I think motherfuckers is going to drink it. And it's weird. Like, you motherfuckers was drinking Taylor Port. Don't think I forgot about that. I think that was last year leading into this year. Y'all were drinking Teleport like it was some good shit. And that is port wine. Like, it's not even supposed to be drank the way that y'all drink it. I don't know, Umar. Like, I don't know if I'm riding with that, but I, I think the man is behind this. And I think you're doing it on purpose because you don't want De Leon tequila to outsell all your other European control brands. Hold up, but wouldn't that, like, make more sense for them? Because if they're in business with each other, it would make more sense for them to actually help push the brand so they make more money, too? I thought everybody that's in business is greedy, so that's what I'm saying. Like, this shit doesn't make sense. So Puffy accused Diego of racial discrimination in mm. advertising and marketing. Diego got upset with Puff, British-based company. They said, you done already made a billion dollars off of us. How dare you sue us and try to make a few more billion off of us? Diego and Puff settled out of court in January. No fucking way. I didn't know that they settled. <laughs> Like I said, clearly, Umar has been following this trial. I didn't know that they settled. That's wild. The problem with settling is there's an admission of guilt there. Because if you were innocent, you would fucking take the shit to court and fight it. Puffy's homes are raided in March. There's oh, no way you're going to convince me 
that a company that powerful, Diego operates in 180 of 194 countries in the world. They what? operate in 180 out of 194 countries in the world. Hold up. So they basically control the marketplace. That's weird as hell. And I don't know why you would want to do business with somebody like that, but I guess if they control all of the marketplace, you really don't have a choice. I don't know, man. Being a billionaire don't sound fun at all. Like, you got to literally try to, like, make money with motherfuckers who don't want to make money with you. This shit don't add up. Something ain't right. I don't know, Umar. You are not going to convince me that one plus one does not equal two. There is no way... They were forced to settle with Puffy in January and less than two months later, his homes are raided. Watch this timeline. He sues Diego in the spring. Yep. Cassie comes out in the fall. Okay, I'm with you. He settles with Cassie in 24 hours. Diego is watching. Hold on, run that, run that, run that back. Watch this timeline. He okay. sues Diego in the spring. Cassie comes out in the fall. He settles with Cassie in 24 hours. Diego is watching this. Okay, that was my initial reaction too. I didn't know nothing about the lawsuit. All I knew was he sued these people, right? Claiming that they weren't freaking selling his product, putting his product wherever the hell he wanted it to be. And Cassie comes out and then in 24 hours, he settles. Once again, that is an admission of guilt somewhere. Unfortunately, that is what led to the initial spiraling of all of this shit. So when Diego decides to settle with Puff outside of court, they did this knowing full well, we about to go after you and destroy you. Oh, you shit. You are messing with the Illuminati. You have no idea. The rumor was Diddy was in the Illuminati. And clearly, he's getting kicked out of the Illuminati? how that work? So, all in all, what Umar is saying, though, is like you basically sue a company calling them racist and they show you how racist they are. And when Puff was so quick to settle with Cassie, that showed the whole world he was vulnerable. Right, that right. showed the whole world he has skeletons in his closet. But I called this right, right after he settled with Cassie. I was like, something ain't right. And I'm not saying that the man is innocent. I don't know. And y'all need to stop comparing fucking Harvey Weinstein and the fucking Epstein dude. Like, those motherfuckers, like, me personally, I just stay out of white folks' business. Anyway. I bet you, after they settled with Puff, they probably never even made it to the airplane. They picked up the phone. And they call King Charles the Third. Get the fuck out of here. And they said, Dear Monarch, we need you to dial in a favor for us to President Joe Biden. Hold up. Y'all bring it by. <laughs> Leave Biden out of this. Biden probably don't even know that this shit is going on right now. How the hell he get wrapped up in this shit? This little n out of New York City. He think he can go to war with the big boys and not pay the consequences. Sean Puffy Combs, that hip hop king out of New York, he think he can tell white people what to do. He think he gonna rob us for a couple billion dollars and get away with it. It's not going down. Dear King, please make that call on behalf of your citizens. All in all, I love a good conspiracy theory. Do not get me wrong. I would literally wear a tin hat if it didn't look stupid, but it does look stupid, and I'm not trying to look stupid, even if I might say some things that y'all might deem are stupid. I don't give a fuck either way, but check this out. Umar broke it down so well that a lot of people can actually see a different perspective because you have a lot of folks out here saying that the man is trying to take them down. This doesn't happen to white folks. Like I said, it just goes to show you that they still have the control no matter who the fuck you are even if you're playing in their market you're playing in their field i don't know if y'all know but the game is fucking rigged <laughs> and if you think that you're going to get out here and be above the so-called status quo you're wrong it's not going to happen even if they let you sit at their table you're not going to be able to cook in their kitchen leave y'all thoughts in the comments thumbs up thumbs down whatever the fuck you feel i'm fucking out of here